Hey guys, so for today's video, I have my January favorites and regrets. I'm so excited for this because I haven't done a favorites and regrets video in like, what, two months? I think I just skipped December, but it feels like forever because I have so many products to share with you guys that I've been obsessed over and loving so much. So first thing I want to start off with is skincare because it's not really often that I kind of talk to you guys about skincare. Lately, I've tested out a new brand that I have fallen in love with and I'm just, I'm obsessed with them. They did send me a PR package, but this isn't sponsored or anything. I was just kind of free to try it if I wanted to and I tried it and I ended up loving these products so much. I'm actually going to place an order on Sephora and try more of their products. That's how much I love these. So the first thing I really want to talk about is this one. This is the TLC Fravos Glycolic Night Serum. So this is a serum that I go ahead and apply at nighttime. This is so amazing, you guys. This is what's really been detoxing my skin. Like lately, I've been breaking out like crazy. Ever since using this, for the first week it was good, but then the second week I've been like getting random little pimples here and there because it's really detoxed, detoxified my skin. And I know a lot of you guys are kind of going to be like scared of that, but don't be like this really gets deep into your skin, really exfoliates all of the bad texture, all of the dry skin, all of the dirt in your pores, brings everything to the surface and then bam, it's gone. Like my skin's now in that stage where it's kind of recovering. Like I don't have too many breakouts now. Um, it's really pulled out those stubborn little white heads underneath the surface. Another thing too that this has been amazing with is I don't know, like most of you guys don't know this, but... I don't, some of you guys probably experience the same issue, but I have what you call, I think is Mila. It's pretty much a build up of dead skin cells that build up and they look like whiteheads, but they're not poppable. Like you can go ahead and try to pop them as much as you want, but they're not going to pop. They're very, very, very hard, hard, hard whiteheads. And I have a cluster of them sitting at the bottom of my cheek on this side and on this side. And I get some of them here and there around my eye area. So what I've been doing now to avoid that is kind of exfoliating my skin a lot more, but this has helped my texture so much. Like seriously, for years, I've always tried to find a skincare product or some sort of solution to having that build up of like bumps on the bottom of my cheek. And this has been the only thing that's really gotten rid of it. Ever since I've been using this, my bumps on my cheeks have decreased by literally at least 70%. There's not that many anymore, which I can't believe, like I never thought I would ever say that but I don't have that many built up anymore on my cheek and I'm so excited. I also do wanna mention, just because I feel a little bit bad, these are super expensive. Um, the Drunk Elephant is sold at Sephora. Their skincare line is really expensive. It's so well worth it. I do prefer to invest in my skincare. Like I'm totally cool with spending a good amount if it works and this definitely works. So another product I wanna show you guys is their B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. So this is the Quench, Quench Moisturize and Illuminate Pineapple Ceramide. So this has lentil, apple, watermelon. I love this stuff. I use this every single morning underneath my moisturizer. So this is actually a moisturizer on its own or it can be used as a serum and I kind of just use it as a serum um, just because since it's kind of in the winter months now, my skin has been so dry that something like this alone I don't know, I feel like I need something thicker, but this is just like a great pre-moisturize, you know? It just really gets into my skin, hydrates it really nicely. I also forgot to mention, with this glycolic serum, a little bit goes a long way. Like one pump is sometimes even too much. So that's what's really good too. Like because it is so expensive, I'm glad that a little bit does go a long way and you won't run through it, you know, in a month or two. Um, and the same goes for this, a little bit goes a long way, which is really great about it. I just really like it. It's a really nice this is expensive so i'm not gonna pump out too much <laughs> just a really nice clear gel um moisturizing moisturizer i love it especially if you have super oily skin this is going to be a great moisturizer because it's not too heavy the next product i want to talk to you guys about from them like i can't even begin to describe how obsessed with this i am but also how shocked i am that i love this and i'll tell you guys why so you guys know that i love 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 using oils in my skincare routine like it's i swear by it every single night before bed i slather on oil on oil on oil all over my face all over my neck all over my chest and my hands I swear by it because it really helps to hydrate your skin. It actually helps to control your oils. If you have oily skin, applying oil at nighttime really will help control your oils because it's really going to hydrate your skin. Um, so I've been a huge fan of that. And I've used everything from, I prefer to just buy like super cheap natural oils. So like natural organic um, almond oil or coconut oil or vitamin E oil. You know what I mean? Like you don't really need a fancy luxury oil or anything. I always, you know what I'm saying? I always just went for the plain old regular oil. 
Um, so when they sent me this, this is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Face Oil Hydrate and Anti-Age. I always, I was just like, okay, like, cool, I'll try that. I love oils, but I'm like, it's not going to be anything different. It's just a face oil. And like I said, their brand is super expensive. So I thought there's no way I'm spending a lot of money on just an oil because I can just go ahead and go to the grocery store and grab a natural almond oil and put that on my face. So I was like, oh, I'll try it. But you know, there's no way I'm gonna, it's just an oil. Let me tell you guys, it's not just an oil. Like this is the most amazing oil I have ever, ever, ever tried. I regret even thinking that an oil is an oil and you know, you can just buy a cheap one as a matter. You definitely can't just buy a cheap one for sure. They work, but this is so unique. And let me tell you guys why. So I see why they call it luxury because the texture of it is so luxurious. It's not as thick as like pure vitamin E or pure gly um, glycerin. You know how those are like very sticky and thick. It's definitely not like that, but it's not as thin as something like um, coconut oil. It has almost a mixture of both. So it's this nice thick oil that's not sticky or tacky or anything. When you put it on your skin, it's just this beautiful, thick, luxurious oil that sits right on the skin and slowly throughout the night seeps into the skin. When you put this on, you just look so hydrated. You look so glistening. It just looks so good. I have been experiencing a lot of dry skin in the winter and this has just really helped hydrate my skin. I just, I'm obsessed with it. Okay, so one more skincare products. Promise, stay with me guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the makeup soon, but I have been loving this. This is the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. I've always heard about people liking this, so I definitely picked it up recently, and I love, love, love it. This is pretty much an exfoliator, but it's more of a gentle exfoliator, kind of a creamy one, so it's not super harsh. I do like a good old harsh exfoliator, I will say. Like once or twice a week, I like to use a good old harsh one. And my favorite is the, I believe it's the Peter Thomas Roth, like walnut one. I'll leave it down below actually. I love that one. I've been using it for like a year and a half, two, probably like two years now. But this is really nice because you guys know I've been going to the gym a lot lately and I've actually been going like four times a week now. So four times a week is a lot, especially when you're sweating. So I always, always, always exfoliate my face every single time after the gym because I wanna make sure my pores aren't gonna get clogged from sweating. So this is kind of my go-to exfoliator for after the gym because it's not too harsh. So four times a week is a lot to exfoliate your skin. I mean, I think that's good, but only if you're gonna use a gentle one. Um, so if I'm gonna work out four times a week and need to exfoliate my face four times a week, I prefer to go for something more gentle, you know what I mean? So that I'm not using a harsh one four times a week. It really gets in there and exfoliates everything, but just in a gentle way, it doesn't irritate my skin or anything like that. It really cleanses it nicely gets into the pores and it just, it's been working well. Okay, so this may be a little bit of a weird random favorite, but I also want to mention this water bottle. When I showed this on my Snapchat, a lot of you guys asked me where I got it from, what the brand name is and how you guys can purchase it. So I figured I would mention it because I have been loving it as well. This is the BKR water bottle. I actually got mine on Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below. Just know that the links below are affiliate links and if you do click on them, then you're supporting me by giving me a small commission. So keep that in mind and I thank you in advance if you do choose to purchase it from there but if you don't I just put purchased it on Amazon I just searched up glass water bottle but I love this because it is so big I love glass water bottles because I don't know like I've heard plastic is not good for you so I just prefer to kind of use glass but I love how compact and easy it is to carry too like if you're just doing this and your hands are kind of full it's very sturdy like it's not gonna fall or anything um, the glass is very sturdy as well but what I love about this is this is exactly one liter so you guys know I've been on my health kick getting my fitness on so I've been drinking a ton of water I've been drinking around four liters a day and this is just makes it so much easier to drink your water because it's a full bottle I love drinking water. I actually personally love water. I don't drink anything else except for water because I just, I'm obsessed with water. So it's pretty easy for me regardless to get my water in, but this makes it easier because I don't have to constantly go to the fridge and like fill up my water bottles. This, I only have to fill up like four times a day. So it's like, you just take up less time by having to fill it up less frequently. It's just so convenient and I love it so much. And I love how it's just easy to, to drink out of it. Having it open like that just makes it so much easier to, and effortless to drink, almost as if you're just drinking out of a plastic water bottle. I don't really like the straws or anything like that because I find, I don't know, having to suck on it, it's just like takes too much energy. So this has just made it so much more convenient and easier for me to get my water in. And I love, love, love it. So I will go ahead and link it below for you guys. Just because a lot of you guys asked me on my Snapchat when I posted it, 
so many of you guys asked me to send you the link. So I figured I'm gonna mention it in my favorites, share the link down below for you guys so you can get your water drinking on. So I do wanna start off with a little bit of like skin prepping-ness that I've been loving lately. So you guys know I have my blog, www.amymacedo.com, and I always keep you guys updated with like my favorite products. I have a tab called Shop My Favorites, and I put all my favorite products there. Um, so I've actually recently added a bunch of products, but a lot of you guys are like, oh, whoa, like what are these products? Because I haven't talked about them yet. So I'm gonna talk about them in today's video, and I just realized I forgot to take the lipstick out of my purse I want to talk about so let me mention it quickly the Sephora Rouge shine lipstick I mentioned it in my no makeup tutorial anyways though but I love that lipstick so much it's in my purse right now though but it's so beautiful super glossy it's the perfect topper or to wear alone it's just it's amazing I'll link it down below um, but I want to talk about some skin prepping so I've really been loving the Peter Thomas Roth 24 karat gold pure luxury lift and firm prism Cream. So at first when I saw this, I was like, oh cool, like a, um, a illuminating moisturizer. Like I thought it was a moisturizer. And it technically is, but it pretty much isn't, <laughs> if that makes sense. Well, it says targeted highlighter. So yeah, it's pretty much a liquid highlight. And I have been love, 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 loving this. Like it is so nice. It's hard for you guys to even really see it. Yeah, it's so hard for you guys to like tell what I mean, but I've been using it in tutorials a lot lately so you guys can kind of get the gist. What I've been doing with this is just taking a little bit of it and applying it just on the um, tops of my cheeks, above the brow, in the areas that I want to be highlighted, and then I'll take whatever's left over and pat it on the rest of my face. But what that does is it just kind of gives me a nice little glow underneath the skin so that when I put my foundation on and then put my highlight on afterwards, it's like an extra bit of a glow. It just looks really good and really natural, especially if you're just gonna wear a natural foundation and you just want a little bit of a glow underneath. I've really been liking this. Um, so I've also been loving the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Lately, I've really been loving like natural dewy skin and this gives you that. If you want something to top off on your makeup or put on underneath, that's just gonna make you look fresh, clean, and like slightly dewy, this is it. What I love about this is I feel like it has this like reputation for being extremely dewy but it really isn't like I don't find it to be extremely dewy unless you're putting on a lot of it but if I put on a good two to three sprays it just gives me like this slight dewiness and this beautiful kind of like glow from within fresh faced look which is what I love so I've actually been really liking this before my makeup more like I'll put a good amount before my makeup and then afterwards I'll finish off with just one or two sprays sometimes um, but yeah, if you, this is pretty much a liquid moisturizer by the way too, which is something I didn't really know, but it definitely is. Like when it goes on your face, you can feel something there because you know it's like a thin moisturizer spray almost, but it definitely seeps in afterwards and it's all good. Um, but like I said, you don't want to put too much if you have oily skin because one time I did put too much, like I went ham and put like a good 15 sprays and, and I noticed my foundation separating a little bit. So don't put too much of it. Two to th three sprays should be enough if you have oily skin and it's just so pretty. So I quickly wanna talk about this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. So I mentioned this to you guys and, and showed it in my first impressions that I did and I really liked it and I still do like it but I will say um, it works better when my skin is on the drier side. Like I've been super dry this winter so it works good but I don't really have too much dry skin anymore because those Drunk Elephant products have really helped my skin. So my skin, my skin right now is kind of more like normal to oily and um, now that it's more normal to oily when I use this, my foundation kind of separates a little bit. So I kind of wanted to mention that to you guys that I really think this is a great primer oil um, if you have dry skin. But if you have oily skin, just know that it doesn't work for me when I have oily skin and then it works for me when I have dry skin. So I don't know. It's kind of like a half favorite, half not, depending on how my skin is at the moment. So I figured I would kind of update you guys on that. So this is a new concealer that I've tried. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer. You guys, I love this. I'm actually wearing it today. I'm obsessed with it. I think it's so nice. It actually reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, but a little bit, um, a little bit thicker, just a little bit. It's nice and full coverage. It's not too, too thick. It's not too liquidy. You guys know I love trying out new concealers. I always get bored and want to switch up my concealers and try different ones, and this is one that I've just really been loving. So speaking of concealers, I've really been loving the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. So this is really nice because it's a nice like medium to full 
coverage I would say so it's more for a day when I don't really want that full 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 glam but still glam enough type of thing I don't know like I said you guys know I love trying new concealers and this one's really nice and it definitely it does last really long I don't know if that's because of the waterproofness but it does last really long on the skin without wearing so the next product I want to talk to you guys about I am gonna try not to like ramble on about it because I'm so obsessed with it and I love it so much and I just I feel like so lucky to have fallen in love with it like that's how crazy I am you know what I'm saying like that's how much I'm obsessed with this right now I'm I'm like I'm, I'm gonna die so this is the new wet n wild photo focus foundation you guys this is so good like straight up I'm just gonna keep it simple this is so 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 good I'm like floored by this and I can't stop even thinking about it. That's how much I love it. And um, I did end up picking up another shade. I purchased it on Amazon, so it's coming in the mail because this shade is good, but it is a slight bit too pink for me. So I want something more warm. So I went ahead and picked up another shade. This foundation is only $6, I believe, US. And it's so amazing, you guys. It's so, so, so beautiful and full coverage. It gives you the most beautiful natural matte finish. And can I just say, the main thing that made me fall in love with this foundation is a couple things. Let me just say, the first thing, it literally makes you look like you're photoshopped. Like, no joke. When you're wearing this, you're like a live walking photoshopped doll. Like, you look like you've been edited. Like, that's how good it is. It makes you look poreless, flawless, smooth, airbrushed amazing no flashback whatsoever and it looks amazing in photos like so super hd another thing that made me just fall in love with this you guys it looks so good at the end of the day like i wore this when i was filming at like 10 a.m and i only took it off at 10 p.m literally i think it was like 10 30 even it still looked like i just applied it like i did not even want to take it off and i actually snapchatted for you guys to see how good it looked. I wish I, I don't think I saved the Snapchat. I wish I saved it to my memory so I can like play it over for you guys. But it lasted all day and looked flawless as if I just literally applied it, like so good. It only had like a little bit of oils on my nose and like oh, that's it. Literally looked so good, no separating. I'm so obsessed with this. Like this is definitely going to be one of my new holy grail foundations. If you guys watched my full face first impressions um, drugstore edition, you know that I've pretty much fallen in love with all the Wet n Wild face products. So let's just bring them all out. This is um, the Photo Focus Concealer. It's so good, guys. It's pretty much a dupe for the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. It's just a little less full coverage and a little less thick, but it definitely is like so similar. They're very comparable. Um, I love it so much and this looked really good by the end of the day too. It lasted so long. It just looked amazing So I definitely this is one of my new favorite drugstore concealers The powder is amazing as well. Unfortunately, I got it in a shade that doesn't match me So I oh I didn't oh yeah I wanted to but it was sold out They were sold out um, on Amazon of my shade in this so I'm gonna have to kind of hunt it down But this powder is amazing. It's so 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 smooth it looks so airbrushed again in Photoshop. Like it's really nice. I'm actually wanting to pick it up in a bronzer shade as well so I can bronze with it. It's just, it's a really great formula. So I wanna talk to you guys about a bronzer that I've been loving. This is the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. So I picked this up a while ago and I've only fallen in love with it recently because when I picked it up, I was a little bit more on the lighter tan side and it looked definitely too orangey on me. When I'm like a tan that I am right now, it definitely looks really good and super warm and beautiful. I love this. It just has a really nice texture to it. Super, super um, smooth on the skin. And I love the color. It's a beautiful warm shade that just gives you a beautiful bronzed kind of kissed look. So another product I have been loving is this little duo right here. So I went ahead and bought this on MAC um, Cosmetics, the little container thing. And I picked up the Emphasize Powder by MAC. This is what it looks like right here. It's so amazing. Like literally it highlights you like you wouldn't even believe. Underneath the eye, you guys know I love a super bright under eye. And this does it. Even if you just take, I'll actually put some on right now. Even if you just take some of it and just put it on like right in that area where you get darkness. It just brightens so nicely. I am obsessed with using this. And what I love about having these two side by side is because I love combining them even, like combining the Emphasize with the Kat Von D yellow. That's what the top is there. So she now sells the refillable. So I just went ahead and popped it in this pan. Um, combining them together is perfect. And then I like to use them on their own even. So this is like a little combo that I've been loving. So I forgot one more Wet n Wild face product that I've been loving. This is the Wet n Wild Makeup Stick Contour. 
this is so good you guys this is in the shade oaks on you it's a really beautiful bronzer like such a pretty shade so nice right it reminds me a lot of my anastasia stick foundation in amber so i feel like this might be like kind of the, the drugstore alternative to it it's a beautiful kind of warm look how beautiful like look how easy that just like blended out i, I can't even like believe it it's just so nice i don't know what it is but these new wet and wild products they have like this like photoshop built into them that just looks so good on the skin so i want to talk about another two face products that i've been obsessed with and these are nars blushes i really have been loving the formula of nars blushes i've been loving it so much that i just picked up another one literally like two three days ago i showed it on my snapchat but these are two colors specifically that i've really been loving this is the shade luster and then this is the shade deep throw deep throw is the most prettiest pink blush like if you just want to pop on a really pretty pink blush this is the perfect shade not too pink not too nude not too peachy and then you have luster that i've been obsessed with because everyone knows like peach is super in right now and i feel like this is just the perfect apricot peach blush it's not too peachy but not too nude it looks really really good and it has these small 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 specks of gold in it that just looks really pretty on the skin and i just i don't know i've really been obsessed with these nars blushes lately Okay, so I want to move on to an eyeshadow palette that I feel like you guys know that I'm already going to mention. It's the um, Too Faced Peach Palette. So this little guy has been raved and hyped, and I definitely think it deserves the hype. I think it's so beautiful. The packaging is so cute. The concept is so cute. It smells like peaches. It's just so cute. Other than it being so cute, I think the formula and the colors are so beautiful. I love that in this palette, you get your nice peaches, you get your beautiful warms, but you get some other cool colors to kind of play with if you want to dabble into them. Um, I have mentioned, I do think it's kind of weird that this is a peach palette and there's only literally two peach shades in it. Can we like talk about how weird that is? <laughs> it's like so weird to me, but I hope they do like a peach too and make a palette that's like all peaches or like a lot of peaches but anyways i still think this is such a really nice palette you have a beautiful olive right here these warm shades are so pretty and these peach shades are beautiful they're everything you need to create a beautiful peach kind of dusted smoky eye it's just really nice especially for spring coming up i'm definitely going to get a ton of use out of this so since we're talking about the Too faced peach stuff i want to talk about their lip oils that they came out with these are the new Too faced sweet peach creamy peach oil lip glosses so i picked up two shades this is the shade peach fuzz and then this is papa don't peach such cute names but i love these two these are the perfect shades um this shade right here i love wearing on its own if i'm wearing like minimal 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 makeup i'll just pop this on and it looks super natural really glossy it definitely is an oil gloss like you feel like you're wearing an oil but a gloss at the same time and it just gives a nice sheer wash of color it's sheer enough to like look natural and pretty but pigmented enough to still show a certain color you know what i mean um and they feel really good on the lips and they smell and taste like peaches <laughs> so this one is papa don't peach and this shade is really nice if you want a shade that's a little bit darker let me actually swatch them and sometimes i even mix these two shades they're really nice so there is um peach fuzz just a really pretty like neutral nude pinky peach shade and this one is more of a nude beautiful apricot nude so another lip product I want to talk about are the new Marc Jacobs. I believe these are called the Lamarck Liquid Lip Cream. I love these so much. Like not only do I love the packaging, I love the formula of these and the colors are so beautiful. So I feel like everything is perfect with this product. The formula is so nice. Um, so like thick and luxurious feeling and creamy and pigmented so these are not liquid lipsticks that dry matte which i actually have been liking lately i don't really like so i like sometimes i like the full matte and then lately i've also been liking the gloss and then the creamy texture this is a beautiful like creamy texture it just sits beautifully on the lips and it lasts so 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 long on me i'm obsessed with the formula of these they feel very luxurious but the colors are so beautiful so this is the shade yours to try which has been like a hit for me. Like I have been obsessed with this shade. It's the perfect Amy shade. And when I wore this shade, so many of you guys asked me like immediately, oh my God, what are you wearing on the lips? It's the most beautiful like nude flesh tone shade and I'm obsessed with it. And then you have the shade Fawn Over Me. This is a really pretty nude shade too. It has a little bit more of a pinkiness to it when compared side by side. 
but they're both just such beautiful flesh tone nudes like I'm obsessed with the colors of these the formula the packaging is just so nice and I actually just recently picked up hot cocoa that shade um, if you follow me on snap that didn't then you saw my little Sephora haul so I picked up that shade we'll see if I like it so I also have another liquid lipstick I've been loving this is the dose of colors sand liquid lipstick so this color has been out for forever and I don't even know why it took so long to try it because it's like the perfect flesh tone pale 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 nude you guys know I love pale flesh tone nudes this one is super pale so you might need to pair it with a little bit of a lip liner but this is how sand looks it's definitely very flesh tone super pale it has a little bit of this like cool tone vibe but at the same time at the same time not too pink type of thing I don't know it's a very hard color to describe but it's super beautiful so I want to talk about a mascara that I've been loving it's kind of rare for me to find new mascaras that I love because I tend to just stick with that one holy grail which is the Maybelline lash sensational but Maybelline just came out with the big shot mascara this just gives you the perfect wispy lash it's I've said this before in the my Maybelline haul but this reminds me of the Coco Queen Bee lashes, but in mascara form. So those lashes are super popular. They're beautiful, like long, fluffy, wispy lashes. And this mascara gives you that vibe. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to wear falsies, but you want fluffy, wispy lashes. Also, here is how the wand looks if you're curious. So I want to talk about the new Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. So these are the new Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipsticks. I tried them out in my... Um, full face first impressions and it was kind of like a hit and a miss for me um, Now the formula of these is a little bit inconsistent I really liked the formula of this one like this was really nice. This is the shade nude patootie It's not the most flattering on me just because it's a bit too pale and too grayish on my skin tone But the formula was really nice um, Really comfortable on the lips. It lasted really long like really nice but then the formula of this one, the Nudist Peach, wasn't my favorite, which I was so disappointed in because this color is so beautiful. It reminds me a lot of the Kylie Cosmetics Dirty Peach Lipstick, so I feel like it would have been a perfect dupe, you know what I'm saying? Like that perfect peach liquid lipstick. But even as I swatch it, like let me see if you guys can see that close up, it's a little bit inconsistent, like kind of patchy a little bit, this shade for some reason. Because it is so affordable and it's the it's such a beautiful shade i think it's workable i definitely made it work if you want to see kind of how i made it work check out my full face first impressions but i definitely wanted to relay that to you guys too not to let this one shade being streaky sway you away from these altogether because i've heard and from you guys telling me that these are your favorite formulas ever so i'm definitely going to give the other shades a try just this one shade was a bit streaky, but I did have a pretty good experience with this shade. So on to my regrets. Surprisingly enough, I only have one regret, which is kind of weird. So this is the Sephora, what is it? Yeah, Sephora Perfection Mist Airbrush Foundation. I did not like this at all. Super patchy, didn't blend out nicely. Um, was a little bit dry on the skin. I don't know. I just did not like this at all If you want to see kind of like my full impression and how this was for me check out my video on it because I did a First impression on it, but it just definitely was a total miss for me Also, the shades are just kind of like weird. They don't really have nice shade range All of the shades are neutral tones, which is kind of like some people need more pink some people need more warm So I found it kind of weird that they only offer neutral tones and just very minimal shade range So I don't know this was just a huge 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 miss for me So that is pretty much it for my January favorites and regrets I really hope you guys enjoyed it because I haven't done a favorites and regrets in so long So I was dying to get here on camera and sit down and just talk to you guys about all my favorite products It's my favorite video to do It's definitely one of my favorites just to sit down and like recap on what I've been loving lately and really explain everything to you guys my fave. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Like thumbs up for more. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.